Make no mistake, these are bad snails. Invasive apple snails were first introduced to uh, this part of the state, uh, the Lower Salt River, probably in about 2007 or 2009. Most likely they came from an illegal um, stalking of somebody's unwanted aquarium pets. Apple snails are highly adaptable to our waters and our climate. Um, they have very few natural predators, especially here in Arizona. So that allows them a very competitive advantage um, that will outcompete and even predate on our native snails, which is a big part of our food base for a lot of our fish and wildlife here in the state. A single female, one of these large snails, can produce up to 15,000 eggs a year which could translate to quite a few uh, small snails, which will continue to perpetuate in the system. What the department does is a survey where they're at and what their densities are, doing a time count to get at a relative abundance. Uh, what we're trying to do is, as we're getting out into the field looking for these things, as we come across them, we'll go ahead and knock off their egg masses that are laid above the water and to help to disrupt some future generations of these snails. Uh, we're also communicating to the public about the problems with the releasing unwanted pets into the wild and how that becomes everybody's problem. Uh, you may think you're doing them a good you know, thing by putting them out in the wild, but actually it turns out to be more harm than good. Apple snails can be found in the Lower Colorado River down around the Yuma area, as well as here in the uh, Phoenix area, from the Lower Salt River all the way into our canal systems and a lot of our community fishing waters. Well, if you're out there recreating, as you see apple snail egg masses or apple snails, go ahead and make note of those. Uh, take photos, post those on social media, inform Game and Fish. But you could also use a stick or a paddle so that you can knock down the egg masses into the water. That'll help drown those eggs. And then inform others about the problem with these apple snails. Uh, they do not belong in our ecosystems and certainly not in our waters. Um, they are going to replace a lot of our native species that a lot of our fish and wildlife feed on as food. These are, for the most part, unpalatable to a lot of our uh, existing fish and wildlife. So they're just going to be, uh, for the most part, junk food for a lot of our fish and wildlife that they're not going to be able to effectively use.